In this video, I'll be showing you how you can set up a calendar in Go High Level and then integrate it whether in your funnels, create a link, and also in WordPress. And with Go High Level, you can easily set appointment with your leads, your prospect, or even customers, and you can set it within your team members as well. Now, setting up appointment is much more important compared to just leads because it shows higher intent and it is even easier to close them when you're able to speak with them directly compared to just, you know, email and etc. Now using Go High Level, all these appointments will be stored inside one place where you can easily manage, track and even follow up their appointments and also their funnels. So that's why the calendar in Go High Level is so powerful. If you do not have Go High Level yet and you want to test it out, go to my description box, click on the link and get access to a free trial where you can test out the software. Just go ahead and test it out and see how powerful it is with your own eyes. And while you are there, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this now without further ado let's go to my computer and show you how all this can be done let's go all right now you log in into your go high level dashboard account go to calendars you can see here left side and then you can see calendars here you have all your appointments here and then you have your calendar settings here as well so let's create a new calendar so currently you can see that i don't have any appointment yet so now let's go and create a new calendar so for example now i have one calendar only Let's just go to calendar settings and you can see there's only one calendar. This is automatically created when you have a Go High Level account. So you can just go to create calendar here. Once you click create calendar, they will ask you to select calendar type. So as of now, you can see there's four, but the collective booking is coming. So class booking is actually a calendar type where you can have one to many. So many people can come into their single calendar appointment. A simple calendar is just basically simple one to one calendar. Round robin is that if you have a team, they will arrange based on which one is available. So when there's appointment come in the person that's available will be able to pick up that appointment and then maybe just contact the prospect so usually it depends what you want if you're individual you can create simple calendar but let's just do it round robin so that when you add more teams in then you will rearrange it accordingly let's just click select and then this is a team and event setup so you can see there's two optimized for availability so whoever is available then they'll get it optimized for equal distribution so for example you be each one will have equally distributed appointments for each person for example you have different salesperson you want so person A to have four appointments, sales person B have four appointments as well. So you want it to be fair. So this is how you can do it. But you just optimize for availability. If you notice one thing, you can't click on this button here. You need to create a profile or a team member inside your account in order to use a calendar. So how you can do this? So just open another tab. Okay, now I'm in the calendar. You go to settings and then you can see here my staff. So add an employee. And then you can put in all the information. All right, just fill in the basic information. You can put in image as well. Just scroll all the way down. So you can see all the user permissions that you can just set accordingly the user roles as well kind of user role you want admin etc voicemail settings all here user availability they're all here as well user calendar configuration all here as well let's just save first and then we can see what happens so the member is created here and then when you refresh and you can see here you can add users so when you click on here you can see that uh, you can select user you can see the users are here so you can have medium priority set priority as you like and then meeting location it could be location or in zoom so you can see that you can connect zoom if you want to then you can just click connect Connect. All right. Another place you can connect is if you go to the profile, you click on edit, and then you can see here meeting location custom. Just click on connect Zoom, and then you can connect the account here. So this is another place where you can connect Zoom account with your profile. So for now, I'm not gonna do anything about it. So you can just name the calendar, put in all the information that you require. You can even add logo. So you can put in the calendar slug. So what what it means that you can have a custom link for this as well. For example, I want test for example so they will check whether is this still available or not so this one these are the type of the widget i think you can just leave it as it is the contact name etc and then just click save and continue so you can see the availability so the slot duration depending how long do you think your appointment gonna be to be safe usually is 30 minutes and above um, and then slot interval to every 30 minutes and you want to put buffer as well for example if you have a lot of leads or prospect coming in you might want to put buffer like 10 minutes for you to go toilet or whatsoever to rest to recharge before you go on next call so you can put a buffer duration here as well so you can even set appointment per slot you can set how many appointments you can take per day for example if you're an introvert like me you don't want to take more than five for example you can just put it there and then you have a scheduling notice so minimum scheduling notice so it's like you can schedule your appointment a day before 
because you don't want out of nowhere you got appointment being set up so you it'll be better for you to put like a minimum scheduling notice so that at least you don't have like last minute appointment setting and you are not there okay so date range you can put like for example 14 days so they can set like 14 days in advance or 7 days in advance so you can set the office hour as well and standard or custom so up to you how you want to put it you can add the dates you can put a standard this is the time that you're okay with you can put it in you can even put recurring appointment if you want to so let's just click save and continue now you can even put custom forms what kind of form that you want that you have they created i have a video on the forms as well you can have a look you can use all these sticky contacts and even as add guests so it allow people to add multiple attendees in the same appointment so now this is notification you can whether notify the contact the assigned users or or an individual email for example if you are the boss you want to see whether they got any appointment you can put your email there or or any other setup email you can just put the email here but usually just the contact and assigned user will be good enough so when somebody book in they receive an email and the person that is in charge of it would know that they have an appointment as well so you can let the calendar auto confirm my appointment uh, you can allow google calendar to send invitation as well so you can just click on here i think it's good because if google calendar send an invitation you'll be in the calendar <laughs> it's even better so you can allow reschedule allow cancellation it's up to you you can even assign contacts to their respective calendar team members you can even put in your facebook pixel id here so they can track when people register when you're especially this is important especially when you're running at you can even put in custom code maybe google you want to put in after that as form submissions so once the form is submitted you can even send them to another link for example uh, you want to send them to the thank you page etc or you can just have a custom thank you page so when they registered then it will appear a, a custom message okay they just click complete this is it and the calendar is created easy peasy so now let's have a look at how this calendar look like so you can see here action drop down just click the three dots you can copy the scheduling link right click on it and then you can open up the link somewhere you can see the front here is the link for go high level and then this is the slug that i mentioned just now and you can see the agency meeting test if you have your image you have an image here as well now this this does look a bit like calendly but yeah as long as it does the job it's good so you can see that duration everything is here you can even put appointment just continue put in your information here and that's it schedule meeting and now you want to have the calendar to be in the funnel okay now let's integrate to the existing go high level site so previously i've created a site you can see here so you just click on the funnel itself so you can see that there's three steps funnel you can see a landing page schedule page and thank you page you can just click on schedule page click on edit so you can see that they do not have any calendar here yet so basically it's very easy just click on here you can see a calendar here click here agency meeting test and then you click on it and then you can see the calendar nice little calendar here if you want to add it so for example you want to add new elements so you can just search for calendar and just add it here just drag and drop so for go high levels it's also very easy to use basically it's separated by section and rows columns and then you just add elements there and it boom it's there okay so you just click save and let's just preview this and you can see the calendar here so basically i've shown different calendars one is the direct link and one when you put it into your funnel so another one i'm going to show you is when you want to put it into your wordpress website so for example i'll go to my wordpress press dashboard here let's go to pages i want to put it in the contact us details so for example i click on here so i'm using a dv builder if you use elemental etc it's the same thing as well uh, they all both have a front end builder and a back end builder so this is how a back end builder look like i want to build it on the front end so let's just click on it so again it is basically same either you are using elementor or any other wordpress teams etc all you have to do is just add a code so where do you get a code so go back to the calendar you can see a three dot here just click on it copy embed code click on it go to here um, add a code again similar with all teams all you have to do is just add a code go to the code here click ok and then you can see it's here so you can save and just let's preview and see how it looks like and you can see the calendar are here so it looks quite nice as well you know it looks very integrated with your wordpress website you can see even select here same thing as well all the dates are here so that's it that's how easily you can create a calendar using go high level and get the link that you can send everywhere you can even use it in your funnel you can even use it in your wordpress website it's very easy to use and it's good to have one place to manage all these leads prospect appointment as well which is using go high level again if you do not have go high level yet just go to my description box click on the link and test go high level out just try it out and see how powerful the software is that's it for now and i see you next time goodbye